Hi, my name is Chris Wood, and I'm the CTO for the Storage Practice Solutions Group. With me this morning, I have Harriet Coverston, Distinguished Engineer at Sun Microsystems, to share with us some extremely interesting information about really what I'm going to call the, not only the future of file systems, but the future of intelligent storage itself. Why this is so important to all of us is the massive growth in data objects going from, think of it, tens of thousands to millions today and into the future into billions of objects the customers want to store. The current paradigm of a single file system connected to a few disks directly being accessed by an application just doesn't scale anymore. So what Harriet and I are going to chat about today is what we call object store, and very specifically a project Harriet has to add object capability to the QFS file system. So Harriet, can you tell me a little bit about what are objects, why do we care, and what's wrong with what we have today that seems to have served us well for 30 years? Exactly, Chris. For 30 years, the file system has done its own allocation and namespace inside the file system. With object-based storage, what we're doing is we're pulling the file system apart. So you're saying you're really going to hack it in half. Exactly. So we're going to gonna split it right down the middle. And we're leaving the namespace on the metadata server, but moving the allocation out to the storage. Now, can you tell me what a namespace is, please, and namespace, what a meta server is? Yes, sorry, Chris. Uh, I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, the namespace, really think of it as create a file, remove a file. It's how you access your data. It's, so it's the that full sort of directory name. thing I exactly. see. Exactly. It's okay. the directory in the, file, in the file system. So that what we call the file system that's processing that logic is what the namespace portion yeah. of the file system. Now, the uh, portion of the file system that processes the storage, that is maps the storage under its management. Currently, that's inside the file system right. today. We are taking that storage management and moving it out to the device. So each device manages it and maps its own data. This is really revolutionary, right. and I believe this is where file systems are moving. All right. So when you say device, you know, forgive me for asking this, but I think of like disk drive, just a, a little thing. If I start moving this logic out there, you're kind of redefining what a storage device is. Exactly. Storage devices are becoming very intelligent. They now, for the first time, know about the data that they're keeping. And this opens up all kind of possibilities for innovation. Remember, before, when we were talking to a dumb block device, they're just individual blocks with no relation to each other. Right. Now, we are talking to to our storage device with an object, and we are talking with a logical address. When that object arrives at the storage device, the storage device actually allocates or maps that object onto its storage there. So this is very different. With this knowledge now, the storage device can do read ahead. Uh, if we're accessing the data, the object sequentially, it can do caching if we're doing random. So there's all kind of possibilities for mixed access that we never had before. Usually in the old days, you had a RAID and you set it up for streaming or you set it up for random. But you couldn't do both very well together. Now we can do both because the storage device understands the data. Okay, now let me ask you one more because I can immediately see now that I can start applying data services to the data. You know, and I could snapshot it, I can replicate it, I could selectively archive it, I could move it around. Exactly, Chris. So You're tremendous. going there, so you've got it. This right. is exactly where we're going with this. And this is revolutionary. I mean, we could never do this before. So we are separating, really, the, the file system proper. Really, we're pulling it apart. We're separating it. We're no longer tied to the way the storage, remember the 512 sector. Right. We are wrapped around the 512 Which sector. Which is why it's never changed. Exactly. And it's too small. We yeah. want to change it, but it's too small. With object-based storage, we no longer have that concept. We are totally free to innovate on both ends. Right. Really, in truly innovate. So let me ask you one more question. 
And this is scale. I brought it up in the beginning. Scale to me means several things. It means bandwidth, mm -hmm. but most importantly, it means the ability to grow and store huge numbers of objects efficiently while delivering good performance. How does object a system doing that? Right, well currently today, Chris, on our current SAN-based file system, the name space that we talked about and the storage allocation is all done on the one metadata server who is the, the, uh, the host. Point. Right, and we reach a wall. Right? We bump up into a wall where we cannot expand that file system. That server is simply overloaded. So what we are doing is moving that allocation, which is, by the way, taking the most time out of that server, is truly the allocation. Right. And we are doing that allocation in parallel because it, the allocation is being done on each storage device. So if I had 20 devices, I have 20 allocators. Exactly, and add another 20. Yeah. And it just, I got that, okay, I figured it, it out. And it just goes straight up, yes, yes. It's just beautiful. I think, Harry, we have time for one more question. Talk to me a little bit about the transfer of data between the application server traditionally where the file system mm -hmm. was, and this new fancy object device that you've described. Is there any changes there? Absolutely no change to the application. He can use it, the file system, exactly like he used to use it. However, we are adding uh, the ability for storing attributes with the data that and, and searching capability, mining on the storage device. All possibilities low, open up with object-based storage. But we can say to the application uh, writer that he really doesn't have to change. Right, so he can just, it works like it did yesterday, it'll work like it did tomorrow, but we've added the ability to add huge function, huge scale, and innovate now without changing the application exactly. and preserving our customers' investment. It is totally changing the paradigm of file systems, and it's really exciting to be a part of this and to have Sun a part of this. Well, thank you, Harriet, very much for sharing this with us. I think this is absolutely fascinating because I deal with customers every day who come up and are now using the B word to describe the number of objects, files, JPEGs they're trying to store. Traditional file systems won't do it. This is why Sun, and Harriet, thank you, is getting ahead of the ball game to ensure that now and into the future, Sun can provide the data management solutions that you need. This is Chris Wood. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope to see you next time. And Harriet, I Thank hope you. to see your object storage <laughs> soon. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you all.